guys, so I know it's been absolutely ages since I've filmed the video and I'm really sorry about that. There's been a lot going on recently and I'm going to actually film a video for my second channel, kind of like talking about that a little bit. It's nothing like bad or anything, um, nothing too serious, just like I want to do a little sit down vlog. So if you want to watch that, go check out my vlog channel, it's probably going to be up before this video. So there you go. Um, anyway, that's not the point of this video. Today I wanted to talk about books again because I haven't done that in a really long time and I miss it. Oh my god. I've tweeted about this. I've missed my bookshelf so much. I'm incredibly happy to be reunited with them. It was so great. Obviously I've missed my family and everybody else too, but you know, books. <laughs> anyway, as you probably know, during my time in Japan, I didn't really get to read much and or didn't just didn't read much um, for plenty of reasons. Mainly books were expensive. I didn't really have time. I had other interests other things to do but I did read some things and I just wanted to talk about them a little bit just to mention them a lot of the times I'm probably forgot what I thought of them but I just wanted to show them to you so you know what I've been reading and I'm also going to talk about some current reads so that is going to be today's video and hope you guys enjoyed it that was a really long intro but let's get into it so the first thing that I have here the one of the books that I read while I was in Japan was Prudence by Gail Carriger I picked this up at Kinokuniya bookstore which is one of the only places that you can get English books in Japan and it was really far away from where I live so that obviously sucked but this is um I've talked about this probably I think I've hauled this I don't know <laughs> let me know you guys if you've seen me talk about any of these books in previous videos because my mind Literally like I have the worst memory and I cannot remember stuff. So if I've talked about it, I'm sorry But this is Prudence by Gail Carriger Car 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 This is Prudence by Gail Carriger and uh, the Custard Protocol book one if you know Gail Carriger She is the author of the Soul what's it called the parasol protector. It's serious. The first book is called soulless and I actually really enjoyed it. There's five books in the Parasol Protectorate and they were so fun. Like, Gail Carriger is the wittiest person I know. She is so funny. She's British and there's like a lot of British humor in this and it's just so amazing. I love it. The Actually, I do have to say that the Parasol Protectorate series is a bit better than this one. This is about her daughter, by the way. Um, it's a steampunk fantasy kind of thing and I enjoyed it, I did, because mainly, again, Gail Carriger is super witty, but it's just not the same. I think it was trying too hard to like live up to the Parasol Protectorate, which itself had kind of been declining in quality, I think, over the course of the five books. So, I don't know. It wasn't the revival that it could have been, but I did enjoy it. And I think that there is a second book, I don't know if it, it's either coming out this year or it's already out, it's called Imprudence. So witty and I am going to probably buy that and read that as well because it was pretty cool the next book I'm only gonna mention because I did read it and I have it here while I was in Japan so anyway this is ice like fire by Sarah Rush you guys I did a complete rant video on this book and I'm gonna link it down below and on the screen right now if you want to watch that yeah <laughs> as you can tell by the fact that I made a rant video on it I did not enjoy it as much as I could have. Oh my god, I hated it. <laughs> but I'm not gonna get back into that because that is a rabbit hole that is very hard to climb out of. Next, I reread some books in anticipation of reading a new book, and the books I reread were The Winner's Curse and The Winner's Crime by Marie Rakowski. I really enjoyed these at the time of reading them, and The Winner's Kiss is something I picked up in Japan, so why I wanted to reread these. Um, this is the third book in this trilogy, obviously. And what what did I think about this? See, that's the thing. I have no idea what even happened in this book. Oh, I think I had a lot of gripes with this book as well. Same thing that kind of bothered me in the first two books is instead of just like, you know, there's, you know, in like young adult books, there's often a lot of miscommunication between the lead characters because that's the whole drama. Like, that's the, the, cur the cause of all of the drama is that people just don't talk about their shit. So that's sort of happening in this one as well. But then also people at very convenient times, especially the, the male protagonist, Aaron, he keeps figuring stuff out at like very convenient times, you know, and like based on no actual proof uh, of any kind. He's just like, well, maybe actually she was mean to me because she meant it in a good way. Like she wanted good things for me, so she had to be mean to me. 
it makes so much sense but in actuality it really doesn't it's just sort of laziness on the author's part of like not helping the like people to like find those conclusions or continue to exist in like believing the lies but it's ah, that sort of stuff just bothers me because it's so nonsensical next I finally got to this book and it took me a very long time I'm pretty sure it was a year ago where I read The Final Empire and The Well of Ascension, Mistborn Book 1 and 2 by Brandon Sanderson and I had just sort of burnt myself out on them because I read them in the course of like a week and if you know those books they're like this big so <laughs> yeah burnout had to happen so I didn't actually get to the third book last year and I brought it with me to Japan or wait no I made my boyfriend bring it to me because I thought I needed like you know it, in this like vacuum of almost having no books I was like this is gonna make me read this book and it actually worked so eventually I finally got around to reading this The Hero of Ages the third and final book of the original Miss Brown series and I've continued and I do myself also want to continue but I haven't gotten around to doing that because again it's so long <laughs> the books are so long that it like it's daunting and I don't want to again burn myself out on it so I'm gonna like just take it slowly and like continue along over the next years you know I don't have to read like the books now but I am gonna read them eventually um this book was great I loved it I just love everything about the Mistborn em Empire <laughs> about the Mistborn universe I should say I thought it was a great ending I thought it was very um in a way predictable, in other ways unpredictable, and I just liked it. I cried a lot over that. It was so wonderful. I honestly, I was just blown away by this entire series. If you like fantasy, go and get on reading those books because they are really, they are so well thought out. They are obviously very long and long-winded, but they're not boring in any shape or way, shape or form. Seriously, get on reading the series and don't even waste any more time because if you haven't even tried this you're seriously missing out and then the final book i have right here i actually read a few more things mostly graphic novels but they don't have them here so i'm gonna probably introduce them to you at some later date but the last book that i have here right now is yoko ogawa's liebe am papiran this book is called again i don't freaking remember the english title it's a japanese book originally and the author is obviously japanese um but this book was given to me by my boyfriend's mom uh, for my birthday and I really liked it. It was a bit weird uh, because the ending you're kind of left very confused like what actually happened. Basically this is about a woman who suffers from an ear pain, mysterious, no not ear pain, yeah, no? Mysterious ear problems where she like hears things way too loud and so she needs like goes to hospital and treatment and nobody really figures out what's wrong with her. And then she meets this stenographer and he like and she he writes he starts to she starts to dictate dictate him her life story and he writes it down and they see sort of has this like feels this strange attraction to him. And like the thing is that the build up of it is I think really great and you're like constantly expecting some great resolution where it's like, oh my god, of course, this is what it was all this time. And then it just sort of ends <laughs> and you're like, what was that now? I don't really understand this ending. So I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a great book, it was well written and captivating, but then it captivated you and then it just didn't like make it worth your while is what I would say about this. So that's all the books that I have here that I read, which is very not a lot. I did read some more books, but I think I've talked about them before, so I'm not going to mention them again. This is not what I read in an entire year, but it's coming very close because, again, I didn't really read that much. So just quickly before I go, I want to talk about the two books that I'm currently reading. Well, currently reading is a very loose term because one book I started like ages ago and have still not finished, and the other I'm actually currently reading. So they're sort of both currently reading, but... I'm only reading right now one of them. And that one is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. So this book has been so overhyped on booktube for so long. And I obviously had to get it because I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. So I bought this actually last year, left it here for this entire year. And then I was like, I want to read it as soon as I got back. So I started it and at first it was underwhelmed to be perfectly honest. I thought it was really like, what is happening? Like, I didn't really know what it was about going into it. 
And so I was just like, what is this? I don't know. What are... Oh, what? And now I really like it. I'm literally like almost finished. I have 40 pages left. So this is going to be mentioned in the like wrap up video of some kind very soon because I'm probably going to finish this today. But I really like it so far and I want to read the sequels too. And I was thinking that I'm actually over YA, but this is YA and I like it. So, well, apparently not. And then finally, a Japanese book. Yes, I'm finally reading in Japanese. Oh my god, this has taken way too long. But this is Sekekara, Niku ga kieta nara, and Oboku ga kieta nara. I'm not actually sure if this is the same as Neku ga kieta nara, but I'm pretty sure it is. It's just a slightly different title. So basically the book is called What If Cats Dif Disappeared From The World? At least that's like the famous title. But then actually what it says on this cover is like, what if I disappeared from the world? And since it's written up from the perspective of a cat, it does make sense. But then I'm like, why is it, does it have two different titles? I don't understand. And then here it says, what if cats disappeared from the world? The movie, blah, 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 like um, an ad for the movie. And I'm just so confused. And some of you randomly uh, know about that title. Uh, and why it's different, let me know. So anyway, this book is about a guy who this gets diagnosed with brain cancer and he um, is being told that he's like going to die very soon and then a demon appears and he tells him that for every day that the demon gets to decide one thing that disappears from the world, this guy gets to live longer. So, like that day longer. So it starts with, what is the first thing that disappears? What is it actually? Phones, right? The first, so basically, I'm gonna show you. If you could read Japanese, that would be a lot help more, that, a lot easier. But basically it just says like, this are the chapters, like one chapter is a day of the week and it goes from Monday to Sunday. And then like Monday, the demon appears Tuesday, phones disappear, Wednesday, films, Thursday, uh, clocks, and then cats, and then me, and then the last day is like goodbye to this world, basically. And I have read so far until Thursday? Yeah, I'm on Thursday now. I so far really like this book. It's really, really sad because um, all the things that disappear have like consequences and then I'm not gonna spoil anything but like the relationships that he has are affected by that because maybe like one relationship was built like they became friends in relation to maybe movies and then movies disappear and so they never became friends because movies never existed and so that it's like so sad <laughs> and I just appreciate I love it so much anyway guys so that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it I know I'm a little bit hyper today. And again, I'm really sorry that this has been the first video I've done since my snack video, which is like ages old. Also, that was pre-filmed, so I really haven't actually sat down and filmed the video in an absolute eternity. So yeah, hope you can forgive me for that. I'm planning, hopefully, to get back into doing more videos again. And I'm on holiday next week, so I can't film anything, but I might have a pre-upload or something going for that. So. Yeah, I'm very sorry, but also go and check out my second channel that has also kind of been earned But again, I have put up a video by the time you see this. So that's it for today you guys I'm gonna see you soon. Have a lovely week. Bye